Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor, 2500, 2024, beautiful boat, perfectly rigged, perfectly. You got a big screen, 16 up front, probably 12 in the rear. Uh, got the heater, got the stove top, heat his coffee, make some soup, got his wash down, got his camera back here. I mean, just perfect. Uh, I just love the way this boat's set up. This flips back and forth. This is starting up again. The, if it stays yellow, that's what you want. Pretty soon, the yellow and the red going to be on. That means it's fired up. Then to shut it off, you just push this until the light blinks, and this light will go out. And this one is eventually was going to blink red. Then it's going to totally go out. Now you can shut the batteries off. Mm -hmm. So this autopilot is a nice feature to have. So I'm not going to use this anymore. I guess I could if I wanted to. I could sit here. Uh, let me see. Let's let's do a circle. So I'm gonna hit a circle, and then right here I'm gonna go. Which way is that circle going? Uh, just circle engage. Just circle port. See how I hit it over this way. So now I'm gonna go this way, and I could have did this by this, or if I want to follow my route, I hit one, and then circle. You can go left and right. See. So if I want to stop it, I go like this and hit it again, and it's heading hold. So then number two is U-turn. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Circle. Oh, it is doing a U-turn. Huh. So there you go. So now we got that. So number three. Number three. Number three, I think is the one I need. So I'm going to straighten this boat up again and hit heading hold. There it is. And then I'm going to hit number three. I think that's follow route. Yeah, follow route. Then you have to hit three again. Whoop. Then it, So number three is route. And then you got to hit it again to activate the route. Now it's following the route again. So now that we're done with that, I'm going to shut that off. That shut that autopilot off. Standby, standby. If I want to engage it, I hit this. But now I hit this button to shut it off. There it goes. So now I'm going to shut that thing off again. And then of course right here, I think I showed you before, but say I want to go to the left. I bring this one back to the left, just to where it stops the boat. Then I just do the starboard motor and you can sit and spin it. You want to go a little faster, just help it turn the wheel to the left. Now, if I want to go the other way, bring these back into neutral, turn the wheel to the right a little bit, bring your starboard motor back, hit it just to throw, then hit your front one. There you go. And there you're spinning. Can't get any better than that. Then you just go like this. So in tight situations, this is nice because I can give it a little gas here and just bring it back here. I can go either forward or reverse. You just get used to it. And there you go. And then we're going to go over here. So I'm going to hit this. Make sure the motors are straight. I'm going to bring it over here just by hitting that one ahead a little bit without having to steer my wheel. Then I can just put this in neutral. And maybe I want to go over this way just a little bit. So I'm out of these guys' way. I'm going to do that bow mount. There we go. Put that in neutral. Shut her off, shut her off. Keep the motor straight. Then you get up into here. So this is your bow mount here. Boom, boom. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try this and see if this will work. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on first and then it says uh, not connected okay good so now we want to lift this up tighten this then what you do is get up here release this release this and that's what pushes that down tighten it up just a little bit so it doesn't slam on you then you come up here, and I'll put this right here. You just push on this, then you just drop it on down.
then you can adjust it if you want to go a little deeper just go like that and you can tighten it then what you do is hit your power like that then I'm going to grab the remote There is loading up and it's, you got to wait for that GPS satellite too, by the way. That's your Sinox camera. Okay, so now you hit your th throttle and then you can go ahead, speed it up. And it's brushless, so see how quiet that is? That's your speed, I can spin it. Satellites loaded So that means I can go up front and use it up there as well All green lights are on So let's bring that down a little bit Okay, so let's go back over here Okay, now let's go into this screen here. Let's stop the navigation. Stop panning. Bring that back. Okay, got an AIS vessel. Now I want to turn it. I just hit this. And this is doing a really good job. Now if I want to spot lock it. Okay, hit right here, navigate. You hit this button. Boom. Now you can jog it over by just hitting this button here. So then what we want to do is go back into here. We want to go home. We want to go. Yep. Yeah, we can do that one. So I can see everything. Okay. So now I want my autopilot. I got autopilot for the main up here, right? You go to your toolbars. You go to trolling motor autopilot. There, your trolling motor autopilot, right there. That lights up. That says heading hold. Your motor's on. So I can use this or put this over here. So now, say I want to do auto guidance on this. Uh, this is on the bow mount. I can go over here. I can go right over here. And I can hit auto guidance. I hear it stop navigate or start navigation. You wait. And it says engage trolling motor. You engage it. It's going to take me back on the course. See right here. And it's going to follow that route. Now that's pretty trick. Garmin's where it's at, I'm telling you. So there you go. Now I want to speed that up. I go back. Now I want that toolbar trolling motor. I want to add that. So now that's down, it stays down here. So I want to speed it up, slow it down. Right there. And sometimes if you need that little extra steering, if it gets windy, use your steering wheel until it starts turning. But this is do now I want turbo boost. I just hit that. Speeds it up, gets you out of trouble, shuts you back down again. I'm going to follow routes right here. Now say I'm out here dinking around. Now I want to spot lock it. Boom. Now I'm going to go to spot lock. Now I can jog over, jog ahead, jog over, left, right, head back. When I'm on the spot lock. And it says anchor lock right there. So it's going to shut this and just run it. And there are... This took a little while to get this thing set up, but then you go to toolbars, trolling motor, you want to add that down below, there it is. And see how it's adjusting the speed. And then if you go over here, you go into this one, then I'm going to have all my numbers probably. I'm going to go to options, head of combo, overlays, data bar, sidebar, back, back, done. So that gives me all my numbers. I'm going to put over here. I'm going to go to navigation, heading. And I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go to water. Then I'm going to go depth. Then I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go system. And I'll go voltage. 
So there you go. We're at 0 0.06 miles an hour. That means that's holding us right here. And again, I can control it from right here. So that is pretty tricky. And that's easy to go out that bow hatch and lift that and stow it. So, I mean, you got a heck of a nice little boat here. Now, see this guy here is coming at us. We want to get out of his way. We're locked here. We ain't going to go anywhere. <clears throat> but see what you can do is take that off. I can hit that. I can steer it. Get it off that. Hit my prop. Whoop. Then what we want to do here, I hit my autopilot by mistake. We want to keep that wheel straight. And see now I'm back here. I need to turn it. There you go. So I can run that Garmin bow mount this on the autopilot the same way I do the main. Right there. Okay, and we shut this one off, I believe. Nope, just hold this right here. So I can control. Oh. Now, autopilot's on, battery charge here. Manual, we want to engage it. Hit the 